In this video, I want to be showing you a comparison of all the items, structures, and armor sets from Ark Survival Evolved to Ark Survival Ascended. First, we have the Desert Armor, which is one of my favorite looking armors in the game. So I was curious to see how that would improve it, and it definitely looks a lot more high res. As well as one thing I noticed, the goggles are actually see-through now, so that's kind of interesting. And then we have the Manticore set. You get this from like killing the Manticore, and they've done quite an upgrade on this one. So we'll do to the other one here, as you can see, it's a lot more shiny. The, like, the things on the side flap a bit more, and it just looks a lot better. Next, we have the Boomerang, which this was before. And I noticed that before it kind of looked like a piece of sandstone or like sandpaper or something, but now it kind of looks like a piece of wood with like carvings on the side, and as well as just being more detailed. But then we have the whip. This one has a little bit of an upgrade, of course, all of them do, but I noticed this one's a lot more colorful than the original whip was before, and that's the main thing that stood out here. But after the whip, I wanted to show off the flame arrows. This is what it looks like in normal. I'll show it at nighttime as well in a second, but that's what the flame arrows look like. You can see the flames look a lot different on Ark Survival Ascended, and then this is what it looks like at nighttime. you can see in the old game, and then in the new game. Also, the sky is really blue on Scorched Earth, which I think looks really cool on ASA. And then we have the oil jar thing, this is just what it looks like in your hand normally. And then upgrading it, it has a ton more details. You can see like the wraps around it, or like the ropes are way more detailed. And then we have the oil piles for the oil jars here, you can see this one looks not that great, and this one actually looks like a kind of a really shiny oil pile, I wouldn't say it's super realistic. But then we have the flame format as well. This is what it looks like, and you can see they changed the fire and the smoke animation as well because the fire animations are all a bit different. And then we have it at nighttime as well, so you can see how it lights up the area. And you can see it definitely looks different with all the lighting and stuff like that. Next we have the chainsaw. This one had a few designs when it comes to like the blade. There's a bunch more like jagged edges that are like coming off, I guess more detailed, which I guess looks interesting. And then I have it like playing the animation as well right there. So you can see the differences of what it looks like when it's actually doing its chainsaw animation. And then we have the flamethrower. The flamethrower has a pretty big difference. It is a lot more metallic as you can see right here. There's like actually like reflections and stuff coming off of it. I think it looks pretty cool. And then like we'll show the flame as well. And you'll notice the flame is a lot smaller. It doesn't take up as much of the screen, which I think is nice. So you're not the screen isn't being entirely covered with flames. But then you can also see the lighting compared to the nighttime in ASA. And then we're going to do the cluster grenade. I'm not going to really spend too much time on this one, but basically it just has a lot more light coming out of the little blue areas on the cluster grenade. And then we have the skins you get from the artifacts. The first one is the like Scorched Earth Sword. And I noticed this one has a lot like of Damascus in the sword blade, which it didn't have before. And of course it's a lot more metallic, which I think is cool. And then we have the Pike skin. This one is probably one of my favorites with like the Rex bone skin at the end of it. And it looks a lot nicer in Ark Survival Ascended as well. And then finally out of these three, we have the Torch skin. And this one I think has the biggest noticeable difference as you'll be able to see right here is when it transforms. It looks a lot different in ASA. I think I like the improvements in Ark Survival Ascended as well as the new flames as well. Next we have the tent as you can see right here. This is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it's a lot higher res. Definitely looks a lot better in Ark Survival Ascended. And I noticed like for this one, you can look at it right here on the old one, but on the new one, it has like this tarp over it or something like that. I don't really know how you'd describe that, but it's like another piece hanging over. And this is what it looks like on the inside as well. And I noticed they removed those two wooden beams attaching to it. I'm not sure why they removed those, but I guess it looks nice. And then we have the vase. This one isn't too big of a change visually, but it's just a lot higher resolution. So it does look a lot better in Ark Survival Ascend. It also show a top view of what the salt looks like. Before it kind of just looked like a big salt rock inside of it when you had preserving salts in it. Now it actually looks like a bunch of grains of salt and it's super detailed. And then we have the windmills as well. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one as well because the detail, you can't really notice much of it other than like the lighting coming from it at the bottom. But yeah, the windmill doesn't really have too much changes, just high resolution. And then we have the desert well. This one had an absolutely huge improvement from the original one. That's the original one there. And then this is what it looks like now. The rocks look a lot better. The wood looks a lot better. Mainly the rocks at the bottom. For some reason, this one's like floating above the ground, which normally they don't do that in Ark Survival Ascended. It's just the one I had for some reason. But this is quite the upgrade for the desert well. And after the desert well, we have the oil pump. This is the original one, as you can see right here. It doesn't look horrible, but obviously could do some upgrading. As you can see right here, this one looks a lot more detailed and a lot more realistic, as well as they had some more details on the side, like that little oil drum thing. And then this is the other side of it, as you can see right here in the original one. And then this is what the new one looks like. Just a lot more detail, as you can see in, in it. And then we have the Manticore shield. This one is pr really big difference. It's like a complete overhaul of the Manticore shield, as you can see. 
it is like a complete circular shape now which before it was like an oval shape so they changed the shape and changed the manticore on the front then we have the wyvern gloves this is the first person view of them and right now i think it's glitched where you can actually see your hands through it so it doesn't look better but i'll show it just a outside view of the original one right here and then what the new ones look like and they look a lot chunkier in arc ascended i know a lot of people were hoping they would make a full set of wyvern armor which i really wish they would have but i guess they didn't but they did upgrade these and they look pretty nice hopefully they fixed the first person perspective though then we have the mirror that doesn't reflect, at least it didn't on Ark Survival Evolved, and it barely does on Ark Ascended. It does look really nice, the edges look way better. It kind of, it basically only reflects the sky, and then everything else it just makes black. So it does reflect it, but it'll be completely dark, which I wish they would have just made it actually reflect, but I guess this is a little bit of an upgrade from just having nothing like we did before. But after the mirrors, we have the Adobe houses and the Adobe structures. These are one of my favorite structure sets in the game, so I was excited to see them on Ark Ascended. And they do look really good. I built the same exact house in both scenarios, and it definitely does look like an improvement, at least the buildings, because they're way taller. One thing I did notice is the roofs hang over in Ark Survival Evolved, and you can kind of like add more pieces to change this on Ark Survival Ascended, which is why it might not look as good, like the building in general, because you can like add more pieces in Ark Ascended, which I didn't do. I just used the same exact building materials. But when you look at it from the inside, it definitely looks way better. It actually looks pretty realistic inside of the building. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye.